So why did it take so long for me to come out and share the truth of the events that happened inside of the cult, like the solitary confinement, the fraud, uh, the abuse? Why did it take a while instead of when I came out, just come out and, and say what happened? People have asked me, why didn't you talk sooner? Well, I kind of want to give the perspective of what it was like inside the cult as a member. Because for the time, from the time that I was there, any time there was a member who was struggling, and when I say struggling, where it looks like they're depressed, or maybe they have, uh, they're going through thoughts of going home, those members would be separated, they would be put on silence, and the rest of the community, the rest of the sheep that we were, we would be told that that person is in crisis so when the person is in crisis you have to pray for them they have to be away from the other members because the way we saw it was that if they're going through these through this way of thinking then they must be getting attacked spiritually by the devil they're going through some kind of demonic attack and if they decide to leave or if if, if their mentality is that there's a lot a lot of negativity happening if that's what they're thinking and that means that they are hexed or that that person is cursed so it's better stay away from that person because if you talk to them or listen to them the poison or the curse that they have on their soul is going to leak onto you and so you're going to be cursed as well so that i hope that gives some context maybe not for all cults but at least for the cult that I was in, we had this view that people who leave are going to be cursed, that if you talk to them, listen to them, that you are going to be, they would say, infested by evil spirits. And like a whole bunch of demons are going to go and possess you for entertaining that person, for entertaining that sinner. But what ends up happening is that it builds this us versus them mentality and you no longer see that person as a human being loved by God. You see that person as a human being who is cursed by God. So therefore, if that person is being cursed by God, then you have nothing to do with that person. It's better for you to stay away from that person. And so what happened was a lot of shunning, shunning practices were being done. Like you can't talk to them, avoidance. Um, even when you're in the community, there is this bit of like this confi this isolation where you're not allowed to talk to the members and it's a form of punishment because the cult, the group can do no wrong. If there's anything wrong that's happening, it's your fault. Or you're the one that's that has the wrong. You're the one who's in the bad. So they're also gaslighting you. So if you bring up true events or if you're being real, like, hey, uh, these things are happening. This is negative. This is wrong. They're going to tell you, well, you lack faith. Or if, if this is what you're going going through, then you must be getting some kind of spiritual attack. So we're going to have you on silence. We're going to put you separate from everyone else. And you're not allowed to talk to anybody. No one's allowed to talk to you because we don't want them to get this di demonic infestation that you have. But one of the problems is that with that way of thinking, with that way of thinking, it's easy to look at the whole world as demonic, demonically infested. So when I left, it was hard for me to express myself because I remembered how it was inside the cult. Because when I was still there going strong as a member, when someone would leave, if you leave, you're going to be a misfit. That God is not going to have a place for you. So when you are a member from this cult and you are playing that in your head, you're hearing that on a daily basis that if you leave, that you're going to be cursed by God, then it scares the hell out of you. So 
when I would see other members leaving, I don't know why they would leave. I don't know what was their reasoning, but our, what we were programmed to think was that they have lost their demonically influenced and that they are all bad people. Now I want to get to why is it that cult members don't want to hear it? They don't want to hear it because we've been trained to avoid it. We, the way we were, I guess, programmed was to only, only believe that truth came from the leadership and that everyone else was lying. And if you believe them, then you're going to be cursed or you're going to be infested by evil spirits. So I just wanted to end it there. Are there any questions that you might have? Or did you also experience something similar to this? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear all about it. And I would love to talk all about it here on The Truth That Heals. And subscribe and stay in touch. Peace.